still really good, didn't have the same control as he had maybe in some of those starts, but still plenty good there, wasn't he? Yeah, I thought he, he pulled it together when he needed to. You know, those lead walks, um, kind of atypical to what we've seen, you know, free bases at all, really, with what he's done, how well he's controlled the strike zone. But, you know, those uh, hurt you a couple times where, you know, you get, especially you got guys that can run like they have. So he did a nice job. Um, First, with uh, keeping it just to the one run, pitching out of trouble, and uh, got himself out again later on. But I thought uh, once he settled in, it, it seemed like it was the same guy that we'd seen all season. Another night, Wayno did when the pitcher really helps you guys with his bat. Yeah, you know, get to those situations and um, pitcher coming through, and you know whether it's getting a bun down or putting together a tough at bat. But we've had opportunities with guys all over the bases, and our pitchers have done as good a job as anybody we have of making the most of those at bats and um, you know Mike Lee can hit and I know uh, that he, he's been frustrated and his short stint here as a Cardinal hadn't showed it but this year it's, it's a it's a nice swing and he's uh, he's dangerous he get legs out an infield single early and then a big couple RBI uh, hit late and um, just uh, overall great job. Well, you talked about Fryer before but to have a guy who the pitchers are very comfortable with made a really uh, important defensive play today um, just what he brings to you. Yeah, just, you know, first and foremost is he's got a real good idea what our, our pitcher's strong suits are, and he knows when to go to him. He knows the league. He does his homework. And then he just grinds. He's blocked balls all day. Uh, the play you're referring to is saving a ball from going in the dugout by just pure hustle. That's hustle and want to. And, uh, you know, we give him chances, and he's always he's ready to go. And um, comes up with a big hit, too, in, in a two-out situation. And then watching Matt Adams come through in a pinch hit. And, you know, it's just, um, that, you know, collect Collective, collective effort today. You don't see Matt Carpenter get hot under the collar too often, but he was hot now. Today. Yeah, it was more uh, the pitch that sent him uh, to two-two than actually the ball to strike three, and you know that something we always want our guys to kind of be able to do is get past the one bad call but you know I think the next one was in his mind borderline probably pretty good pitch but certainly the what could have been ball four I mean the I guess it was the three one pitch um, you know that one wasn't a good pitch but you know you're going to have that and there's human error in this game but um, yeah I think you're just seeing some frustration there with a, with a few strikeouts on the day which isn't something you normally see carp to and um he told him what he thought of it. And then you, I assume, go in to rescue your guy. Did you get your two cents in there, too? Yeah, I told him what I thought of it, too. So, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> about, <laughs> apparently, I said something he didn't like. Mike, you had uh, three guys picked off today. Is there any common thread with that that you saw? Well, you're looking at, I mean, it's a little different than three pickoffs. You're, you're, you have one. Uh, first, Stevens trying to time a steal. Um, not a bad idea. Not sure he needed to, uh, you know, slower times of the plate. So that's something he knows. Um, Colton's trying to get a good a secondary lead. You see a bunt through the ball, which always is, is a tough play because you're trying to, to get to that lead base. Uh, and a very good throw by the catcher. And then, you know, you're talking a very good move over to first. But once again, uh, we were aware of that and prepared for that. Um, but you know, the things uh, slipped. And so, yeah, it, 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 it hurts when we're giving away outs. And um, you know, I think two of those were aggressive. One was maybe um, you know, not, not being aware of the situation as well as he should be. And you know, just continuing to teach, continuing to uh, trying to clean it up because whether it's errors in the field or errors on the bases, it's something that right now we can't uh, do and expect to win on a consistent basis. So, you know, we're, we're working. Strange defensive game. You made some good plays, and you had some of them more pretty good at all. Yeah, I, you know, I don't. We've seen uglier, but uh, you know, a couple plays. And, you know, that's um, right there at the end. You know, I think they ended up giving Diaz that error, which that was a nice play. I think Jose got caught up in the shadows as much as anything else, and ball just really low straight. I mean, he almost caught that ball in the air. That's probably going to be one that's going to be reviewed again to see because uh, that was a real nice play by Ledmies. Um, but, you know, the one by Colton, too, you know, he's playing deep. He comes in, the ball hits that lip and shoots it up at his throat. You know, not a whole lot you can do about that one either except hope it's hope it stays down, but just hitting the exact worst spot it could possibly hit. But they're, um, you know, don't like giving those outs. There's no question, especially when you're trying to put a game away like we were today.